the SC900 Security, Compliance and Identity Fundamentals Certification. I've recently taken and passed this certification and now I'm coming on here to share with you guys how I passed, what my experience was and what resources I used as well. Hopefully the information I provide in this video can help you pass also. Now, let's get into the video. The SC900 is a fundamentals exam. It's targeted at those who are looking to familiarize themselves with security, compliance and identity within those cloud-based Microsoft services. For me personally, I'm moving more into the cloud security area of things, so I thought it would be great to get the SC900. Help me to familiarize myself with security concepts and just to understand the foundation and basics of cybersecurity within the cloud and within Microsoft services. The exam has 40 to 50 questions, and in my exam, I had about 46 questions. The pass mark for this exam is a 700 over 1000, as it is for most Microsoft fundamentals exams. And I scored a 916 over 1000, which is a pretty good score, meaning I only missed probably a few questions. But as I always say, it doesn't matter if you get 1000 over 1000, or if you get 700 over 1000, as long as you get over 700, you pass the exam and you get your certification. For me, working in this area, it didn't take long to study. Um, for me, it took about one week to study. It could have been less, it could have been a few days, but trying to find time to study with work going on and with other activities was a little bit difficult, which is why it took one week. Some would need more than one week, some maybe two weeks or three. Others would be able to do this in a week or even a few days. It's quite a simple exam. There's nothing too complicated. As long as you study properly and understand the concepts of everything within, uh, within the scope and within the exam guide, you should be able to pass first time quite easily. I was given 45 minutes to write the exam itself, but I was able to finish it within 25 as the questions were quite easy to comprehend and not very long. So I didn't need the full 45 minutes and was able to finish up quickly within 25. Now for some of the resources I used to study. Hopefully these resources could help you also if you're planning on taking this exam. Um, a lot of these were really good, really helpful. And I'm sure if you use them also, you'll be able to pass first time nice and easily, just as I did. I'll also be leaving links in the description for all of these resources. So please go to the description and use those links that I've provided. The first resource I used was Microsoft Learn. Of course, if you've taken any Microsoft certifications before, you'll already know that Microsoft Learn is available and has content on each Microsoft certification. And other certifications which are quite detailed and long, I don't like to use the Microsoft Learn website too much, but for a fundamentals one like this, it suited me quite well. Microsoft Learn was the first thing I went through before using any other resources. It gave me that base knowledge and foundation, and I quickly skimmed through and understood the content and was able to go from there. The Microsoft Learn website was a great baseline to get a good understanding of the content but I still felt like I needed other resources to help me understand the content further and to be able to pass the exam. The next resource I used was a video by John Savile, the SC900 Security, Compliance and Identity Fundamentals Study Cram. As you probably know already, John Savile provides these study crams for most Microsoft certifications. They're really good, they're really helpful, and he highlights those things that you'll need to know for the exam. If you're going to take the SC900, I definitely recommend that you go on to John Savile's study cram. Many people in the comments have said that this is the only resource they really needed to pass the exam. The study cram provides almost everything you need. For some people, they didn't need any other resources to pass the exam. So make sure you go through the study cram before you take the exam as it's really, really good. And John Savile is a legend. Additionally, I downloaded a mobile app which had some questions on the SC900. 
this app was for iOS, so I found it in the App Store. I believe there's one in the Play Store as well. Um, but if you go onto the Play Store or App Store and type in SC900, you should see an app that has questions on the SC900. Most of the time, these apps are not free. The one that I downloaded, um, only the first part was free and then you had to pay afterwards. I didn't end up paying as I looked online for other resources, but perhaps it could be helpful and convenient for you to have the app on your phone and be able to access questions anytime at your own convenience. One thing I did notice was that the mobile app questions were a little bit more difficult than the actual questions on the exam. Perhaps that could be helpful or perhaps it's not so necessary to have more difficult questions. That's just my opinion and perhaps others would feel otherwise, but I do believe that some of these questions out there are made to be more difficult than the actual exam, just to prepare you for the exam itself. An additional resource was some questions which I found on WizLabs. A lady put together some questions which are similar to the questions on the actual exam. I'll be leaving a link to that in the description. Check that out. They're quite helpful and quite similar to what you can expect on the exam. Other than that, once you've done your courses or your study cram, make sure you're doing a lot of questions online. Just search in Google SC900 study questions and you should find questions that could help you to pass the exam. Thanks for watching this video. I hope what I shared has been helpful. I hope you'll be able to use these resources when you're taking your exam also. That's another certification to add to my collection. I have many more planned and I hope you guys will be able to follow me on this journey. Follow me on LinkedIn, follow me on Instagram and leave a comment, like the video, share and everything else. And I'll see you guys in the next video.